Such a gorgeous bridge, isn't it? Amazing bridge. Fine piece of engineering. Well, you can ride on the best of the way, but that's where you want to be. Or does a look on your face when you really feel it happy? Or do you feel like a standing on a wooden leg? Or a fool man much to pride a man? Or a page from a book that can't be read at all? When I was growing up, you know, 60s and 70s, this was a very polluted area. There's a huge river going out here, the Avon River here, the Neath River, the Swansea River, all flowing raw sewage into Swansea Bay. There was industries up all the valleys, so we used to often get mercury in the river, and that was really dodgy. The locals never got ill. I think we all had a complete resistance to everything. But, but whenever we had a contest here, we'd always have reports of of people saying, oh, I was really ill after I'd been there. You had an industrial immune system. <laughs> Weaned on it, I think, just grew up with it. That's hardcore. Yeah, well, it's, it's early. It, it was all hardcore, wasn't it, in the 60s? I'm sure I was looked on as a bit odd. You know, I must have been. There were no other female surfers here. I was, uh, for a long time, the only girl who surfed here. And quite often, I'd surf on my own. There's so much travelling involved with surfing. How practical was that for you? Well, I, I could usually get a lift to a contest because there was a crowd of people going to it, but I could never, ever go on a trip. The boys would never even invite me into the car. They, their girlfriends wouldn't allow it, you know. <laughs> they were going off on a boys' surfing trip. There was no way they, they were allowed to take a girl with them. The first year I entered competition properly, I had the Welsh, British and European titles. The first World Championships I went to was 1980. So I was, I, yeah, I was a finalist in that one. That was my, that was my highest place actually in the world. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Good and that surfers. really was the, the impetus for me to carry on surfing because I absolutely loved it. It's just a different lifestyle, different lifestyle from what I was expected to follow, definitely. Especially in, in Wales at that time, and and so different from my friends as well. All the people I grew up with were already married, children, families, and, and I, I loved it. And I, it just it. It did change my life completely. But yeah, it's, you know, the, the coming home is brilliant, yeah. <laughs> and days like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So should We're we go for a surf? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at it. It's still home, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nice to get away, come on.